Have you ever been told you have cysts on your ovaries and immediately wondered if that means you have PCOS? Maybe an ultrasound report left you confused, or someone casually mentioned PCOS without explaining the differences. That's exactly what we're breaking down today. Why ovarian cysts and PCOS are not the same thing. One of the most common questions I hear is, does having ovarian cysts mean that I have PCOS? So by the end of this video, you'll understand the difference between PCOS and ovarian cysts, how cysts can occur in women without PCOS, why in some instances ultrasound findings can be misleading, and key differences in symptoms. And we're going to talk about how PCOS is diagnosed versus how cysts are identified. Let's talk about PCOS or polycystic ovary syndrome. It's a hormonal and metabolic condition. It's not just having cysts on your ovaries. In fact, the so-called cysts in PCOS aren't true cysts at all. They're fluid-filled sacs called follicles or immature eggs that don't mature and ovulate as they should. Over time, these follicles can build up in the ovary, causing it to enlarge. When a woman has polycystic ovaries, they're often described on ultrasound as looking like a string of pearls. But seeing this pattern alone doesn't automatically mean someone has PCOS. It's just one piece of the puzzle. PCOS is diagnosed based on a combination of hormonal imbalances, ovulation issues, and blood work results, not solely on what the ovaries look like. With PCOS, your body might have irregular ovulation or periods, higher androgen levels, and often insulin resistance plays a role too. But here's the key point. Having PCOS doesn't always mean your ovaries will look polycystic on an ultrasound. And just because you have ovarian cysts doesn't automatically mean that you have PCOS. Although these two conditions both involve the ovaries, they're very different. PCOS is a hormonal and metabolic condition affecting ovulation, metabolic health, and hormones. While ovarian cysts are usually isolated, fluid-filled sacs that can appear in anyone, even women with completely regular cycles. Ovarian cysts are fluid-filled sacs that can develop on the ovaries. They're actually very common and in most cases completely harmless. Now, there are a few different types to be aware of. There are functional cysts, which form during your menstrual cycle and usually go away on their own. And then there are dermoid cysts, which can contain things like hair or skin, but they're typically benign. And then we have the hemorrhagic cysts, which happen when a cyst bleeds internally. And then there are the endometriomas, which are often linked to endometriosis. So one thing to keep in mind, while most cysts are harmless, they can sometimes grow larger and even rupture. When that happens, it can cause sudden pain, bloating, or other symptoms. So although most cysts resolve on their own, Monitoring them helps ensure nothing serious is happening. And while ultrasounds can be a helpful tool for evaluating ovarian cysts and PCOS, seeing cysts on a scan doesn't automatically mean someone has PCOS. The diagnosis relies on a combination of hormonal patterns, symptoms, and the ovarian morphology, not just the scan itself. In fact, even healthy women can show multiple small follicles on a single ultrasound. That's why it's important to not assume PCOS just based on what you see from an image. But when it comes to symptoms, PCOS and ovarian cysts can look very different. With PCOS, you're more likely to see irregular or missed periods, excess hair growth or acne, weight changes, and sometimes insulin resistance. While ovarian cysts, on the other hand, tend to cause pelvic pressure or pain. They can contribute to bloating concerns, bowel movement concerns, or discomfort during your period or during intercourse. And occasionally a cyst can rupture, which is quite painful. And like I mentioned before, when it comes to PCOS, it's not as simple as just looking at an ultrasound. Normally, a doctor will follow a guideline called the Rotterdam criteria, which considers three main factors. Number one is ovulation. If your periods are irregular or missing, that's a key clue that PCOS might be going on. Another could be signs of high antigens, like excess hair growth, acne, or elevated testosterone on blood work. And then the other are the ovaries on ultrasound, checking to see if they have that polycystic characteristic or string of pearls that we had mentioned earlier. And here's an important detail. 
you only need two out of the three criteria to actually be diagnosed with PCOS based on the Rotterdam criteria. That means PCOS can look very different from person to person. It's about patterns in your hormones and cycles, not just what shows up on the scan. In contrast, ovarian cysts are usually diagnosed primarily through imaging, like ultrasound. And like I said, most are harmless, but should be washed over time. But unlike PCOS, which is hormonal and metabolic, cysts are more structural, as they are fluid-filled sacs on the ovary. And there's a lot of confusion about PCOS and ovarian cysts. And the media doesn't always help. You'll often see posts or headlines that call any ovarian cyst PCOS, which isn't accurate and can cause unnecessary worry. And even some medical professionals might casually link the two without looking at the full picture, such as hormone levels, ovulation patterns, and overall symptoms. So the truth is, while both involve the ovaries, PCOS is a hormonal and metabolic condition, whereas cysts are usually just structural in nature. Understanding this is the key difference to knowing what's really going on in your body. And if you want to learn more about supporting your hormonal health and understanding PCOS, check out my free PCOS Pregnancy Prep Guide at metabolicmode.com or in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.